Turn with me this morning to Philippians 4, Philippians 4, 13. We're going to go over a scripture that most of you know by heart, but few of you practice. <clears throat> Philippians 4, 13. Say amen when you get there. Philippians 4, 13 says, says, my next door neighbor, he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. It says that even though the pastor can do all things through Christ, I'm struggling just a little bit because he only strengthens the pastor. It says, I, everybody say I. I. Who's the I? I. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I, now everybody say, I can, I can. Do, all do all things through Christ, through Christ. Who, strengthens who strengthens me. How many of you believe that this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least half of you raised your hand. We're about a 50 50 honest church this morning. Because a lot of us, we believe with our mouth that, that the things that we say or we hear, but we're still struggling a little bit in the heart, right? Yeah. You see, the Bible says, I, I meaning me, I, right? I, yeah. The I means me yes, or you, right? When you say I, that means you. Yeah. So what that scripture says that all of us, right? We are all the eyes yeah. that we all can do. Just a few things, <laughs> only the things that are really important, yep. yes, only the things that, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. How come we keep putting stipulations on I can do all things? What does all mean? All. It means everything, right? Yes, right. That if God called you or asked you to do it, you can do it. If God expects it out of you, he's equipped you with the ability to do it. Amen. It says, I can do all things through Christ. You see, you need to underline through Christ. Because for me, you need to personalize this. Because a lot of times I get this confused and think, I can do all things through Ken who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. And, and you do the same thing. See, you read that the same way. I can do all things through Alan who strengthens Alan. <coughs> right? I can do all things through Ray who strengthens Ray. Because Ray is a mountain of a man. Amen. A man among men. Twisted steel and sex appeal. <laughs> There you go, brother. There you go. There you go. You see, we get confused about what that scripture is saying. Because, listen to me, if you're worrying and you're concerned over the things that are happening in your life, you're reading that scripture that I can do all things because I strengthen myself. Amen? Amen. You'll say, well, well, pastor, you just don't understand. <laughs> really? I'm telling you, I've met very few people who have enough faith to live the life I've lived. Amen? Amen. People think or assume certain things about people based upon where they are today, not remembering or knowing where they were yesterday, last week, last year. You understand what I'm saying? You see, I teach and preach faith because I know what it's like to stand. I know what it's like to quote the scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When I'm struggling financially or when I'm dealing with a health challenge or when I've got family members that aren't serving the Lord or family, you see what I'm saying? But see, you got to quote the scripture in spite of the circumstance and then stand on what it believes and what it says. Amen. Amen. You see, I can do all things through Christ. <coughs> Underline through Christ because it's through him. It's not through your own understanding. It's not through your own emotions and feelings. Amen. You, you know, some of you, that old song, feelings. 
Nothing more than feelings. Your feelings are going to lead you to the ditch. You see, your feelings are always going to lie to you. Your feelings are always going to lead you away from what the Word says. Your feelings are always going to create doubt, confusion, and unbelief. Your feelings have no place in the presence of the Father except feelings of love and adoration for Him. Amen? Because, see, in the natural, the anxiety that you feel... See, the Bible says, be anxious for, well, one or two things. I mean, there are some things it's okay to be anxious for, right? Really? Then how come you get anxious? See, we discount the verbiage of the Bible when it fits our needs. Amen? We discount the statements of faith when it contradicts the statement of fear that I'm living in. Amen? So the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ. Through Christ. How many of you really honestly, I mean, from the bottom of your toes to the top of your head, give it to God when you can't figure it out? You see, how do you know when you've given it to God? When it's not keeping you up all night. Amen. When it's not in the forefront of everything that you're thinking about. When it's not, see, listen, the thing that we are thinking the most on is what we're worshiping for that day. Amen. You see, some of you are worshiping your rent payment. Because all day long, that's all I'm focused on. You see, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. How are you strengthened in Christ? Well, you, you go get Holy Spirit lemonade. <laughs> Right? You have a Holy Spirit slim fast shake. And you, you have those by opening up the word. Amen. Now, let, let me ask you a question and don't raise your hands. How many of you have a go to scripture? Amen. You see, everybody ought to have a go to scripture. That ought to be one of them. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, you ought to have a go-to scripture. What does that mean? That means that's what you go to when things aren't making sense. That's what you go to when you feel your emotions start to take over. You see, you have to see, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Most of us get the I can do all things part, but then we get confused after that. You see, the through Christ who strengthens me, it's good to see you, takes practice. The all things through Christ takes discipline. The all things through Christ takes work. You see, the blessings of the Lord come cleverly disguised as work. And some of us are just too lazy to go get them. Amen? You see, you have to work hard to get ahead. You have to work hard mentally in order to be ahead spiritually. Because you have to get mental into the Word and spend some time and some focus on what the Word says. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You've got to figure out the through Christ and the strengthening part. We quote the I can do all things, but we're not willing to get to the through Christ who strengthens me. To figure out what it takes to be strengthened in Christ. Amen. Amen. All right. I got to admit here, uh, bless you and bless you and all y'all. Amen. Everybody's blessed in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Just before all of this, uh, the, the China virus. The COVID. Just before this all came about. Amen. My wife and my son talked me into joining the jam. Now, first I'm thinking, really? <laughs> Need the gym? <laughs> yes, I needed the gym. That's why I do not take my shirt off at the lake, amen? <laughs> so we, we joined the gym. 
Now, in order for, you see, through Christ who strengthens me, in order to get strengthened through Christ, you have to spend some time doing the things in Christ that strengthens. Amen? In the natural, if you want to get strong, what do you have to do? Work out. Now, no matter how many times I stared at that workout machine, amen, and I, and I told that machine, you were going to strengthen me, mm, now I'm telling you, I'm on a, mm. but if I never got on the machine and did what? The work. The work. What good did it do me to confess what that machine was going to do for me? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, you know, I did figure out. I did figure this out. I figured out how to beat the treadmill. I got my rollerblades. <laughs> Two kinds of exercise in one. I rollerbladed and I treadmilled. <laughs> you see... Some of you are trying to rollerblade your way through the word the same way that I rollerblade on the treadmill. Amen. What you're trying to do is just get the highlights on a Sunday morning and think that you can apply it all week long. Listen, rollerblading on the treadmill does you absolutely no good. Amen. Just like coming to church on Sunday just to get a, a, a God fix does you no good. Now, you need to be here, amen, but you need to be here to be here. And then what we learn here, we need to take with us and work, amen? <clears throat> you see, we, we joined the gym because I, I wanted to work on my stamina and to get into better shape, amen? amen. And be, be able to, we're working, and I'm working on a job site where I have to go up and down stairs all day long, four floors of, of a hotel, and we've been doing this for almost a year now, and I'm telling you, I'm out of breath just as bad when I hit the top, Today, as I was then. <laughs> but we, we, we joined the gym. Now, my son, my young son, man, he loves the gym. He does. He gets that from his mother. It's a sickness. <laughs> he loved the gym, exercising and working out, you know, and and, and it was, he was so fun to watch. You know, he could work out on a machine for two to five minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. And then as soon as he got off, he'd be like, look at that. Can you see the difference? Yes. See, that's how some of us are at church. You come here on a Sunday morning. And you think now there's a difference. You see, the difference comes Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. Amen. You see, the difference comes when you've put in the work day after day. The difference comes when you're faithful and you're regular to what you're doing to exercise and to build up. Amen. Now, one of the greatest blessings from COVID was the day they called and the gym was closed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Sorry, honey, we can't go to the gym. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, you have to figure out what the through Christ who strengthens me means. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to him? You see, we have to get that part of the verse working so that the I can do all things works. Amen. 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 We have a habit of just reading the parts that we want to hear and stopping. I can do all things. Praise the Lord. I can't tell you how many people I hear quote that scripture just like that. I can do all things. I can do all things. Well, you need to finish. <laughs> we need to read a little further. And then we need to apply what it says. Amen? Amen. See, that should be one of your go-to scriptures. When you're struggling in an area of your life, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When the bill collectors are calling you on the phone, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
When you're discouraged at work, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When you're not getting along at home, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But see, you have to quote the scripture and then get a hold of the through Christ who strengthens me. How do you get a hold of that? There's only one way, church. Only one way. It requires work and effort and time. It requires taking time out to get into his presence. It requires you being faithful to what the word says when everything about you wants to do the opposite. It requires denying the vindication of self in order to stay in the presence of the Father. Amen. It denies living by my emotions and learning to live by my principles. But see, all of these things take work. They take practice. They take time. But for so many of us, every opportunity that we get to practice these and practice this, we immediately fail the test because we let our emotions dictate how we're going to react. We let our emotions dictate our attitude and our faith, our lack thereof. Amen? So when and what is going to change? You see, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me soon as I get strengthened in Christ. Amen. You see, you need to rearrange that scripture for yourself and say it this way. If I strengthen myself in Christ, I can do all things. Amen. Amen. If I strengthen myself in Christ, I can do all things. We got to get the in Christ in the all things. Because you see, all of us want to live up to that scripture or have that scripture resonate within us, but we've got to get the part of the scripture that carries the work working. Amen? Amen. Because then we jump from that one, right, over to Philippians 4:19 that says, "And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You see, those two scriptures usually go hand in hand with the believer. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and my God shall supply all my needs, right, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. And that usually works really good for you too, and you'll quote that, and you'll recite that, and you'll stand on it for about 30 seconds. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And then you'll go back to whining and crying and you understand what I'm saying? Because we didn't get back to the I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, my God's faithful when I'm faithful to my God. Now he's faithful with or without me, don't get me wrong, amen? But see, grace only goes so far to where it bumps up against favor and blessing, amen? See, I want to walk in favor and blessing. Amen. Does that make sense? Yeah. You see, in walking in favor and blessing, I'm not using up all of my grace, yeah. which that's a, a poor choice of words because you can't use up all of your grace. Don't get me wrong. But see, when I'm when I'm when I'm only exercising grace in my life, you see what I'm saying? So let's get the I can do all things so we can say my God shall supply all my needs. Right. Now, now you got to understand the scripture says according to whose riches? His. See, what does that mean? His. What does that mean? You, you see, you, you base, now, now listen to me. You base every decision that you make on money at some level. Everything you do. You base on money at some level. Am I going to take my kids to the doctor? Well, can I afford that? Are we going to have steak or bologna? Can I afford that? 
are we going to drive a Ford or a Chevy? Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Can I afford that? Are we going to Grandma's house or Hawaii? You see what I'm saying? You see, but the problem is you base that same mentality when the need arises. When a need arises in, in your life, the first thing that you do is go to your budget, right? Amen. And you look at where you are financially, and then you look at what your need is, and then your world falls apart. Amen? Amen. Just being honest, right? Let's be honest with each other. Amen? When your need exceeds your budget, you panic. Amen? Where does it say to do that in the scripture? What does it say in the scripture? It says, my God might supply. It's a definite maybe. There's a slight possibility that if I have the faith of a mustard seed, there's a slim chance it says, my God shall supply all my need. Yes. Now, now, I'll admit, let's be honest, sometimes the Lord's definition and my definition of a need are a little different. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Let's just be honest. Okay. You know, sometimes I think I need things just like you. But see, he said he'll supply all my need. Plural too, right? Needs. Uh. According to my bank account. Well, how come that's how we interpret it? How come that's how, how come I interpret it that way? I, I interpret it, he's going to supply my needs as long as I can afford it. Is that what it says? No. What does it say? You know, my Bible says that he wants to give me the desires of my heart. He said that he wants to bless me exceedingly abundantly above all that I can think or ask. That's what my Bible says. My Bible says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it says that my God shall supply, shall supply all my needs according to his riches. You got to get that and understand that. You see, everything that I own is his, correct? Everything that I have is his. The Bible says that he'll have men pour into my bosom. Amen. That means people will give to help according to the scripture. So his riches, meaning my father owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the earth and all the fullness thereof is his, right? When Jesus needed to pay his taxes, they went fishing. Why are you concerned over making your mortgage payment? If you're standing on what the word says, you see, he always makes a way. He always hears and answers your prayers. He always supplies your needs. He always does. Now, it's not always in the way that you want. Amen. You know, it's not always in the way that you want, but it always is in the way that you need. What we have to start understanding is that we need to believe what the word says in spite of what I see, what I feel, and what I hear. My Bible says, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. See, we're back to Jesus. You see, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He supplies all my needs through Christ. See, where are you with Christ? Where are you at with, the, with Christ? Is he, is he with you all day, every day? Is he always at some point in the forefront of your thinking and your conversations? Is he always expecting, are you expecting him to show and to be a part of what you're doing? Or is he just sitting somewhere on the back burner when you need him? You see, is he just somewhere in, in, in the back, you know, backstage? And then every once in a while, he makes a cameo experience or a cameo appearance and you have a cameo experience 
with Jesus? Or is Jesus an everyday, all day occurrence in your life? Amen. You see, through Christ who strengthens me means he needs to be with me. If, if I'm going to exercise naturally and work out, I got to be on the machine. Amen. If Christ is going to strengthen me, he has to be in me and with me. Amen. Is this making sense? Amen. Because I'm trying to teach this so that we all understand what it takes to get ahead. What it takes to learn to be in faith and not fear. What it takes to understand that the Bible is speaking to you. You see, God is saying to you today, you can do all things. I will supply all your needs. But see, what you've got to do is learn to give it to him. Walk strong in your faith in him and then leave it with him. Amen. We're, we're so good at confessing our challenges and our problems through prayer. And then when we say amen, we just pick them right back up. You see, let go and let God. Let go and let God. How you let go and let God is when you can worship about that thing that's bothering you. Father, I just thank you that you're meeting my needs. Father, I just thank you that you've made a way where there seemed no way. Father, I just thank you for the answer that's coming in Jesus' name. You see, if you can't turn it off and go to sleep at night, then you're worshiping the wrong thing. Amen? If you don't get a good night's rest and a good night's sleep at night because of anxiety, fear, and worry in your life, then you haven't let go and let God. Amen? You see... You should close out every day. Father, I just give it to you. Amen. And I'm thanking you right now for a good night's sleep, for the rest that I need. You see what I'm saying? You, you know, don't lay on your pillow and think, Lord if, Lord, if you'll only, you know, if you'll only do this. You see, most of us try to go to sleep giving God his marching instructions. Amen. Instead of going to God and asking him, Father, give me your marching instructions. What do I need to do and to change to please and honor you? Father, I let loose of everything that keeps me at a distance from you. I surrender every part of my hopes, my fears, everything that I am. Father, I ask you now to forgive me of all of my sins of this day, my shortcomings of this day. And Father, I release to you now all the parts of my heart, every part of my being. Lord, I want to reveal myself to you in new and wonderful ways so that you'll reveal yourself to me in new and wonderful ways. Listen, today should be the best day of your life. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, and tomorrow should be better than today. Amen. 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 You see, that's the, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's the God that supplies all my needs according to his riches in yeah. glory. Yeah. You see, that's the God that sent his only son to die on the cross for you so that you can live a victorious life, a life not filled with fear, not filled with rejection and challenge and problem, a life filled with peace, happiness, and the desires of your heart. Amen? Amen. That's the good God that we serve. Listen, he's a good, good father, perfect in all his ways, perfect in all his ways. Learn to worship him no matter what you're going through. Learn to speak your faith and not your doubt. And learn to strengthen yourself in Christ. And every day is a good day. Amen? Amen. Give the Lord a big hand.